This is CCEA A2 Pure Mathematics. We're looking at some integration past paper questions, and this one then is from C4 January 2013. This is question 8. Uh, below shows part of the graph y equals sine x plus cos x. This is the graph here. At last, the lampshade is formed by rotating the area enclosed by the curve, the positive x axis, and the y axis um, through two pi radians. Um, about the x-axis so it's this bit here then that we're going to be rotating around that makes sense because it says the y-axis so it's going to be then kind of between here and here so we first of all need to find this point here so we know where to integrate between so we're going to have to set this equal to zero so if we go sine x plus cos x equals zero um, I would take the cos x over the other side And then if you divide um, by the cos x, you will get tan x. You can't say it better than that. I'm really sorry. So sin x plus cos x, we let it equal to 0. Sin x equals minus cos x. And then tan x is minus 1. And if we want to know where tan x is minus 1, um, we would just do what well, I mean. You can do a couple of different things, but um, just on your calculator, and it comes out then to be 3 pi over 4. So that point there is 3 pi over 4 and that's going to be where we integrate between um, so let's try and set it up so um, as always in for a volume it's going to be the integral between 3 pi over 4 and 0 of pi upon then the function squared so it's sine x plus cos x all squared dx that gives us the integral 3 pi over 4 and 0 of pi upon sine squared x plus 2 sine x cos x plus cos squared x dx. Hopefully you see what's going to happen. Sine squared plus cos squared is just 1. So we can tidy this up. Um, so that means it's going to be the integral, and this time I'm going to take the pi at the front, as many as I was really. 3 pi over 4, 1 plus 2 sine x cos x dx. Now we can integrate that just like this, um, or we could change this, you maybe recognise that then as your double angle formula. Um, and so you can just kind of work it out then from there. So I'm going to change this to double angle formula, but it is just like a sine squared or a cos squared um, one if you integrate. Plus sine 2x dx. Um, if we integrate that, the 1 goes to an x. And sine 2x then is going to be sine goes to minus cos. And the fact that it's a 2 then there's going to be a half out the front. So it's minus a half cos 2x. And that's in between 3 pi over 4 and 0. So Put in my three pi over four minus a half, um, uh, and so in then three pi over four here. So we need to think about this. So three pi over four times by the two is going to give us six pi over four. Six pi over four. The same as is three pi over two. So that's one and a half pi. I guess we're round there then at kind of two hundred and seventy degrees. So the value of cos of two hundred and seventy or cos three pi over two is actually minus one. So minus one times this is then going to just give us this. Uh, I might just leave the question there actually because whenever you substitute in zero then for the other ones that bit just disappears. So that's our final answer there.